We have to continue to drain the swamp. We did a lot of it, but the swamp was deep, deeper than anybody believed. Despite all of Biden's weakness, cowardice, and incompetence, there is still a path for him to end this tragedy in Ukraine without getting Americans snared in a gruesome and very bloody war, a bloody war. This could lead, by the way, this could lead to World War III. I see what's happening. Because if you think Putin's going to stop, it's going to get worse and worse. He's not going to accept it. And we don't have anybody to talk to him. You had somebody to talk to him with me. Nobody was ever tougher on Russia than me. I'm the one that stopped the pipeline. I had it stopped. I'm the one that put all the sanctions on. And I'm the one that he didn't attack during our administration. Everyone's asking about that now, even the radical left reporters up there. The U.S. must make clear to Putin that he has two choices, to negotiate peace right now or else face blistering consequences, including a push to permanently eliminate dependence on Russian energy. And we're talking about forever or for a long, long time. Because without the money coming in from energy, Russia doesn't work. But to make this threat credible, the U.S. would have to immediately end Biden's ridiculous war on American energy. We were energy independent. It's very simple. We have to get our great energy workers drilling, pumping, producing, mining, and refining like never before. We have to do that. Some of them are sitting right back here. That's a nice looking group. You know, they all become famous. Here's the thing. You have a better location, but they're going to become famous. You know why? They're on television. You have a better location, but they're going to become famous. So what can I tell you?